Of course you came back. I never doubted you would. <laughs> Silly. We are the gift. One free ride with me or my brother. Or perhaps you have greater ambitions yet. I'd like to try doing things like this again. Now I'm free to find my own desires. And don't worry, I'll dart out if I don't enjoy it faster than I used to run from the sun. <laughs> Perhaps you'd care for a little extra company. Oh, I suspect we shall be more than merry. Charming. For being a friend who helped Amira, we will charge a little less. Let's go. This is thrilling. Quite the merry little party we have assembled here. In Kuela's all custom from our home, groups of five or more meet quorum to qualify as orgies. Four or fewer are simply a gathering, legally speaking at least. Shall we? I hope you're not afraid of the dark, my darling. I must snuff out the lights before we begin. It's all part of the experience. The room is bathed in total darkness. So there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. The lady, Nim, moves your hand to where the clasps of her blouse lie. All right, sweethearts. You dare to dance with a professional, you'll get your desire. His skin is like lusted pearls, almost translucent and so delicately smooth. He's so perfect. It could move even the toughest soul to tears. Hmm. Nature used all of its powers when it sculpted you, Astarian. It's so easy to see why that body alone ruins so many lives. <laughs> My fair consort, I can't wait to dine upon this four-course meal with you. <laughs> ah, tickles. See what a bad influence you are, Astarian. I hope you like a kiss with teeth, druid. <laughs> as long as you like to be caressed by claws, Astarian. For this, I feel we should be paying you. Astarian boldly throws himself into the center of attention in your little group, and all lavish their pleasures on him. But as you sit on his lap, resting afterwards, you look into his eyes and see no trace of joy, just an intensity that makes you shiver. We recover quickly, but not that quickly. <sighs> Even in the best of times, it's an oasis of pleasure and calm. In the city's chaos, with Baldur's Gate preparing for war, the caress feels like the final flicker of a beautiful flame before darkness falls. Yes, my treasure. Anything for you, my darling.
delicious. Thank you for inviting me. I hadn't realized you considered me a worthy accomplice in such matters. I hope you'll keep me in mind in future. Our time with those two drow was certainly bracing. <laughs> Takes me back to some youthful misadventures in the Underdark. To give oneself wholly and to have a lover totally in your thrall. <laughs> a harmless game until it becomes real. I worry for the two of you, Astarion. For your sake. I hope some of it is just a fantasy, deep in your heart. Uh, must you take everything so seriously? We're both happy with our arrangement, and that's all that matters.